I literally, and I mean this, I expect 10 no's for every yes. So it won't zap my energy because I expect it to. Think about when I do a five-day challenge, how many people are in there? Probably 14,000, 15,000, 18,000. And by the way, I designed the program for a thousand or less. And this time we raised the price. So I knew that we would have a little bit less than that. And it's all good. But I expect it. And when I reach out to people for the podcast, I'm like, they're going to be a no probably. So I got to get to my, you know, 12 reach outs a day so that I get one. Yes. People's decision to say no to me. Um, it really has a lot less to do with me than it does with where they're at, how much they want to invest or take their time to do X, Y, and Z, how much trust factor I've already built with them. And there is a portion of it, which could be how well I told the story. And there's another portion, which is I actually might be telling the wrong story for them. So if I'm not the right story for them, then that's really a good thing because that's, again, what creates the democracy of being able to let people choose where they go to eat, where they go to shop. And it would be a really scary thing if everyone was always like, oh, no, I only shop there, so I have no room, which is why people are going to filter in and out of the things that we do because they're going to be the wrong customer for what we do. And that means, oh, good. In fact, I said to my team recently, I said, you know what's so cool? that the majority of people who buy our program are cold traffic. I said, you know why that's great? Because we have 120,000 people on an email list and that is a finite group, right? There's a number, but there's always more strangers who I haven't met, which means you're gonna have people in your audience who like love you. Like we have people who are like, you're still here, you wanna opt out? No, no, I'm good. You've never bought my program, not buying it, but I love the podcast, read the book. I'm obsessed with you. Never going to buy that program. Okay. Interesting data, right? So that's why we do put the challenge out there to cold traffic, because what's fascinating is like 86% of the people who come into made to do this are totally cold. They meet me. And within five days, they get what they need. They feel trust. They feel alliance. They're in and they join this program. And then you have literally people like, I've done six of these. I'm good. I'm cool. I'm like, what is it going to take? That's not their MO. They're not, there's a buyer at every price. There's a buyer for every program. Certain people are going to say, not, not the time commitment I want, not the money commitment I want, not really ready to commit myself at that level. And there's going to be a portion who go, you still haven't convinced me, but I like you and I'm in, but mm, all good, all good. So we have to reframe it. Like there are buyers right now. There are people right now who we can serve, who we can uplift. And I've had that thought so many times. Like if my students only knew the rejection I have to withstand to get to them, to be willing to withstand it, to ultimately serve the, pre the people I'm going to serve. Like there will be times where Apple promotes our podcast and we get a flood of new listeners and I'm like, oh my God, we just tripled our, our subscribers. And then they all leave after like three weeks. They're like, oh, well, it was featured. So I clicked on it and not interested. And some people will stay. A small group will stick. And they're like, no, no, I'm actually into this. I'm, I'm in for the long haul. And I can't take it personally. And then I think, gosh, if my listeners only knew the times where I, I could feel bulldozed over by rejection, but I'm like, but I'm here for the people who are like, I'm, I love this. I listen to this all the time. It's like massive action produces like small amounts of results. But here's the thing, massive action does produce small amounts of results. So if I keep doing massive action, I keep coming up with the small result and that small result is a thing and it does build. And next thing I know, I'm like, holy crap, that small result. We had 2000 people go through me to do this last year. We've had 22 million downloads of this podcast that nobody knows about. We've sold, you know, 50,000 copies of my book, which I haven't even mentioned since it came out because I was actually kind of embarrassed that I wrote this book that I could have written better. And it's a great book, but I'm hard on myself. It, it really does add up.
it really does add up. So we have to look at it that way. There's going to be diminishing returns, which means we commit to what the action is. Think about how hard it is to lose a pound and how easy it is to gain a pound, right? So it's like, uh, it kills me. I'm literally like, a, you won't, you wouldn't notice it because it's not so drastic, but I'm like a yo-yo around these five pounds. And it, I work so hard sometimes when I want to lose them, those five, I'm like off sugar, juicing all the time, lose the five and then right back in one weekend, right back. And I'm like, God, what I have to do to get right? Cause I'm not 30 anymore, I'm 42. So it's like, my body's just like, also I never work out, like not even at all. Like, and I sit here in this chair and podcast and talk to people on Zoom and I, it's ridiculous. Um, so I should be grateful and I should work out cause it's sitting is like smoking, but um the diminishing returns is like, it is a thing. But then I'm, remi I'm reminded, yeah, but when I take all that action, it does actually work. But I have to do this much to do to actually get it to do this. But when I commit to it as a hobby and it's a, it's a habit, it works. Well, that's the habit I have in my business. And so I'm just like in action all day long and don't even notice. It's like people reject me now or they don't. And I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. I got it, got it, got it, got it. Like I just... I don't even notice it anymore.